Hey everybody, what is going on? It's your boy, this is you Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon. Let's go, Eevee. Before we get into today's video, you should probably hit subscribe because not many people are. It helps me out and you don't have to stay subscribed for if you don't enjoy the content. Alright, back to today's video. Last time, we went through Cerulean Cave for the first time, captured ourselves a rare psychic Pokemon, and exited into our rival who told us there's a there's a girl in here looking for Mewtwo. This time we're gonna be going back where we are right now to where we caught our Mewtwo to find this gutsy girl. And there is a girl in here. Let us go speak to her. Nice. Ow. You were hit by a low flying Pokeball. Oh, whoops. You're not a Pokemon. Sorry, it's so dark in here. I saw you and I thought you were some kind of Pokemon. Well, uh, nice to meet you. I'm green. So, hey, I'm just curious. Are you here because you're looking for, you know, something special? All right, Mewtwo. Rats. So you knew about it already, huh? What? You've already caught it? Hey, no fair! I was planning on catching it first! And we're challenged to an impromptu battle! This is... Green. And you're probably wondering, who's Green? Uh, this is... A character... I don't remember if she was in older versions of this game. But she's definitely a character in this game. Now, I accidentally misclicked it. I meant to click Toxic. So I could Toxic stall out a very strong Clefable. However, this Clefable sets up all the defenses like our Eevee does. So we can do the same once we poison it. Because I like poisoning things. Now, it'd be smart here to set up a, a Light Screen first. Because this thing has Moonblast. And will absolutely shred through a lot of our team. Because, spoiler alert, level 66 is very high. And I'm using Batty Bad instead of Glitzy. Our other mood, Glitzy Glow, isn't it? Yeah, it's Glitzy Glow, not Sparkly Slide. Ah, oh, well, I don't remember our Sparkly Swirl, isn't it? I hate the alliterations. Have I ever said that before? <laughs> yeah, we'll use our Glitzy Glow. And we possibly all have to heal up our Eevee. Yeah, there we go. Desert Defense is set up. Moonblast is going to come out. Let's see how much that does this time. Eevee tanked it. And got his stat decrease. That's fine. The Clefable's dying. We could technically just Toxic Stall it right now. And I plan on doing so by using a nice Healy item, or aka a Hyper Potion. Just going to take Eevee back to full health so that we don't have to deal with the annoyance of this Clefable for much longer. Now Eevee's thrill to bits as Moonblast tickles. It tickles, basically. And the poison, it tickles harder. The opposing teams reflect war off, that's actually huge for us. We can glitzy glow now. And this Clefable's gonna feel a lot of pain. Moonblast. We're gonna feel a lot of pain again. But the Toxic's definitely gonna kill now. And the great thing about this is Eevee's more than likely gonna level up. Clefable faints. Look at that XP just coming in and Eevee doesn't actually level up. Dragonair does. Getting up to level 48. Big Kangaskhan is the next Pokemon. I'm switching in Venusaur and I'm definitely going to be toxic stalling something. With Leech Seed. Because that is how you beat this late game stuff. And it's very cheap, I know. I love doing cheap stuff. <laughs> but hey, it works. Now I'm also going to go for the Mega. Just to get a bit of extra stats into our Venusaur to make it a bit more tanky. And hope 
to God that we land this toxic. Brick break. Gonna break our reflect and light screen, which is fine. The toxic gets placed. So it's about even in terms of the trade of damage here for what was done to us in terms of what was done to it. Now, I'm gonna go off topic for a bit, not talking about Pokemon. I've got a few things. So let's go to League of Legends. Firstly, oh wow, we got confused as I was saying that. But uh, firstly, got a massive poster on my wall right now. It's behind my PC. It's my awe-inspiring thing. And in fact, I'm going to show you it. If I can. Praise the Lord, Seraphine. That's who's on my wall, ladies and gentlemen. It's an entirely massive poster. It goes all the way to there. Up there, it is ducking behind my PC. I shouldn't probably leave that angle on. Anyway, let me put this back in a good spot. There we go. Uh, that's worse than normal. There we go. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, yeah, I've got that nice poster. I've got my uh, bay on the wall, just staring it back at me every time we play. And I'm just going to be enjoying it. I didn't even notice if our Leech Seed landed. So we've got that for us. I'm going to assume it did. And we're just going to pump out some damage onto this Kanga. Yeah, it did because I just got some HP back. So that's huge. Pretty poggers. This Venusaur doing its job tremendously. And let's continue with the point of League of Legends. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... All Stars is happening right now. All Stars is very good, in my opinion. As we have the LEC and LCS going to war on Sunday, which is actually tomorrow, the day I'm recording this, and it's huge. I enjoy it. I'll possibly make a video out of it. In fact, I should make a video out of All Stars kind of my content, isn't it? And I'll make possibly a couple of videos on it. Who knows? But I do have other videos planned, obviously, for the LEC and LCS once they return or for when they return in January, which is fine. Well, actually, by the time you've seen this, it's gone Christmas, so I can't wish you a Merry Christmas, but hey, it'll be pretty much January when this goes up, I'd say. So, Happy New Year, if this is going up on New Year. I hope you enjoy that. I think it will be at this rate. And that thing just used Hyper Beam, so it's going to die. Next turn, guaranteed. Our team of underlevel Pokemon, 11 levels lower, are just sweeping through her team. Granted, we did Toxic Stall two of them. And that's fine in my opinion. And the rest of our party getting XP. Ninetales especially is actually the closest level to most of our team. Speaking of Ninetales, we can bring it in for a bit. Victory, actually, it'll probably have a poison type attack and absolutely wreck our Ninetales, but hey ho, one can wish that Ninetales survives. <laughs> Victory Bell, the grass type, is going to be an absolute hard thing to kill. Ice Beam coming through. We're actually quicker than it. That's nice. The Ice Beam takes it below half HP. Sludge Bomb, Poison Jab. Okay. Fair enough. I don't know how it's jabbing us with leaves. Ninetales lives. Don't know if there'll be any priority moves coming out from this Victory Bell, and there isn't. So the Ice Beam, going to eliminate the Victory Bell. And the victory is in our sights and not hers. Green must be in a very panicking way, especially when she's having to send in a Gengar. Gengar, I'm not too sure what we send in. I guess we can't Toxic all a Gengar. I don't think. So we'll just send an Eevee, set up some Dark Resist, well, Resistance to you. The physical type attacks that more than likely this Gengar has. Baddy Bad does his job. Yeah, we actually did a little chunk to this Gengar. 
and reflect gets set up. Sludge bomb. Oh, Eevee poggers. Didn't even need to trigger the one HP in a dream thing. It just survived. We'll go for a bounty ball. Steal a bit of HP back. See if that can keep us alive one more turn. I don't think it will. Oh, it will. Eevee just is poggers enough to dodge the attack. And now we can go for with the baddie bad and hope to kill this Gengar. And we do. Wow, we're just sweeping through her team. We're not even losing one. Oh, and a crit. Of course it's a crit. Why wouldn't it be a critical hit? God, this Eevee is absolutely amazing for us. And Blastoise is her last Pokemon. Well, we have got our Venusaur here. And I'm kind of hungry for some HP. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that I haven't put Giga Drain on our Venusaur, even though we do have TM for it. I should have probably done so, so that this uh, HP Drain Sump that we have got would just absolutely shred everything. Now, you're obviously noticing something here. She has a Mega Pokemon. This is the first encounter other than our rival to have a Mega Pokemon. And Blastoise being a Pokemon we use in our team, it's kind of sad to see. Now, Blastoise is very strong. As you see there, it's just gonna absolutely decimate our Pokemon, a uh, Venusaur. That's what I was thinking. I was trying to think what was the name of it. So we're now gonna have to use some cannon fodder to deal with it and hope that we can. Now, I'm gonna confuse right here because I think we'll be quicker and I'm just hoping that it hits itself a lot just because it'll do a ton of damage to itself. And there we go. That's a nice chunk. And we also get Leech Seed damage. So Ninetales is going to go out of the red health section. Oh, that is a lot of HP gained back for our Ninetales. Dazzling Gleam can do work here. Get some stab out. And it snapped out of confusion. And it also has Flash Cannon. Okay, so that is a dead Ninetales, sadly. Kind of hoping for more than one turn of confusion but eh, kind of expected. Now, sending in Charizard here is a bit of a death sentence because it is very weak to a Blastoise, but we do have the speed advantage, and Thunder Punch will hit. I'm kind of hoping that we get that paralysis like we do, and hopefully paralyze it, but we don't get that luxury. Instead, we have our Charizard fainting, and it looks like we're coming down to the wire here. We can set up here a free light screen. This Blastoise will not be quicker than our Eevee. The Glitzy Glow should do work as well in terms of damage. And it did a bit, the light screen. Oh, Eevee's gonna have some fun here. It survives. It's going to get the HP back from the Leech Seed. Oh, and this Blastoise is almost dead. I think the best thing this Venusaur has done in this battle is putting the Leech Seed on this Blastoise. As it's just been chunked out. The best thing Charizard's done in this battle is paralyzing the Blastoise. And the best thing Eevee's done is sweep through... Oh, and the double paralysis hurts. The Leech Seed hurts. And we've beaten this Blastoise. And you think the level difference between our team and Green's, that she'd have the advantage here. But our Blastoise staying alive, and our Eevee staying alive along with our mascot Dragonair. We beat Green. Come on. What's with that? Got 19 grandes for beating her. Wow, you're strong. Well... I guess that's that. Hey, you can have these. We got a Mewtwo Knight X and a Mewtwo Knight Y. She gives us the Mega Stones for Mewtwo. The only other Pokemon bar Charizard to have two Mega Stones. Oh, 
I know. Why don't you become one of my Pokemon? Why don't you become one of my Pokemon together with Mewtwo? Why does she keep throwing Pokeballs at us? Another one comes flying at us. <laughs> Stop! This is annoying. She keeps throwing Pokeballs at us. Four Pokeballs at us. Five Pokeballs at us? Is she just throwing out her entire team? Think about it, okay? Is she into some sort of BDSM type of thing? Anyway, we'll pick up all these Pokeballs because she's given it to us. And we can actually use our second escape rope to get out of here. Because I have no plans of staying. Because I also caught a Licky Tun. Both off screen. Oh, Venusaur's ill. And there's the last Pokeball picked up. Let us get out of here. And next time, we've got one last thing to do. Well, I tell you a lie. There's more than one thing we need to do. Oh. I'll tell you next time what we're doing, but I'll see you guys then. Peace out.